Hey everybody, Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you like the video, I would love it if you would click like on the video. Hey, I have four little shortcuts I want to show you today. One I just literally stumbled on tonight and I'm excited about it because it's going to save me a little bit of time. Now, let's jump right into this. Okay, I'm gonna, the first shortcut I'm going to show you is the title of the video is how to bypass all your plugins with one click in Pro Tools. Okay, the old way I used to do it was I would select this first channel and go all the way to the end of the session, push Shift and select all of them at the same time, then push Shift and A, and that bypasses all the inserts on this session. Now push Shift to A again to turn them back on and that works pretty good but this eliminates the step of selecting all the channels now you may have been aware of this already I literally accidentally stumbled on it tonight by accidentally clicking a plug in and ha was touching the keyboard and I'm like wait wait what did I just do so anyway what we do here to bypass all the plugins with one click we still need to touch the keyboard is push alt and control and then click on this plugin up here, the top one. That bypasses all of the inserts in the session, with the exception of Insight, which is uh, a sound measurement. So we'll, that just stays on. So that is very cool. That saves me one step from selecting the channels. That is so cool. Turn them on by clicking Alt and Control, and they're back on. Here's the second cool part. Same shortcut same keys we're gonna to touch let's say I just want to bypass all the inserts on the F through J and leave the inserts on A through E on what I would do is come up to the one of the first plugins on those inserts F through J push alt and control on the keyboard and click the plugin and everything on the inserts F through J bypasses. Turn them back on. That is cool. And if you wanted to just have everything on the second to the last row on the inserts bypassed, same principle. Alt Control, click on the plugins, and everything from here on down is bypassed. That is so cool. If I just wanted these bypassed and leaving these top ones on, just that is just quick just quick okay and same with sends same principle alt control and bypasses them all let's say I just wanted these sends here from here on down bypassed these would stay on control alt very cool I love that it's a huge time saver now one other shortcut I want to show you while we're here is if I want to bypass everything in this third row all the way across my session what I would do then is push command alt and click that and everything in that row across the session bypasses okay I'm not sure why you'd need that but maybe you don't have too many plugins on there and you wanted to just bypass everything on that row fourth row down inserts A through E command Alt or Alt Command and everything in that row across bypasses. Alt Command and back on. Okay, now this next shortcut I'm going to show you is uh, one that should have been on one of the previous videos I just did. It was slated to be on there, but I didn't get it on there. So I was going to put it on this little video uh, to show you how to do this. Now, this is a really cool little trick here. So. Uh, you know, I was the last video I did was all about zooming with keyboard shortcuts and whatnot. So this is a keyboard and mouse shortcut. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust these track heights. What I'm going to do is put the uh, cursor between these two tracks here, and then I'm going to push Alt and then click here and then drag down. And what it does, it changes the height of every track at the same time. So if I want to put the cursor back here, push Alt and make them smaller they all get smaller and they all change at the same time. So that should have been on the last video. I, I don't write a script when I do it as you can tell because sometimes I get a little tongue twisted when I talk. 
Yeah, so I just have basically some bullet points and that's it. So in this video, I don't even have that. So what I'm going to do is drag this down, make it a little bigger. And the other little shortcut I want to show you is zooming in and out on here. Now this, this is uh, using the mouse as well to zoom. But if I want to push Alt and then scroll down, the session gets really small. If I push Alt and scroll up, it zooms in. Okay. But your mouse may be set up different because I know on Mac you can set it up like a PC mouse or whatever. And your PC may be a different direction than what I have. But scrolling back or forth will zoom in or zoom out. Now the other cool thing is if I want to adjust these WAV files here while I have my hand on the mouse and while I have my hand on Alt and this is with the basically I'm using the Apple mouse to do this if I scroll sideways the wave height changes the, th this is just changing the amplitude this is not changing the actual gain on the chan the wave files this is just changing what we're seeing so basically it's the same thing as this up here okay and yeah so that is what I have for you for shortcuts. Quick, short video. That first one though, bypassing all the plugins on your session with one click. Beautiful. Love it. This is Fergie saying thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit like on the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.